Hello and welcome to this screencast. Now today I want to talk about two modules that you can use with Drupal to theme your website to look exactly as you want it to look. Before these two modules came along, we would have used PHP to do your theming. Now PHP is great, the whole of Drupal is built on PHP, but I really haven't got the head for it. It's very complicated for me. So I was always looking for another solution for theming. So that's when I came across the Panels module. The Panels module allows you to template your sites, uh, template your pages on your sites to look exactly how you want it to look. If I open up this screenshot here, you can see this is the typical, uh, a typical Panels area where you can have different columns, different bits of content in the columns, and you can use that to theme different parts of your site. So if I was looking at this site that I've recently finished, I'm talking about this main content box here. It includes this photo, it includes the sidebar, it includes the text and the photo. Panels is great at this and it's been running for quite a long time. It's a stable module uh, developed by Merlin of Chaos and now lots of people work towards it um, to push it even further. Then along came Panels Everywhere which is the next module in the series and that uses us the similar principle but instead of just being able to theme the content part of the site you can now theme everything you can theme the header you can theme the menu you can theme the these bottom mini panel badges you can theme the footer you can use panels everywhere to control every single part of the theme of your site and from my experience it does this in a very efficient way um, sites seem to load faster um, and it also works better across, across browsers. I, I tend to spend less time bug hunting in, uh, with Internet Explorer and more time actually designing the site. So during this screencast I'm going to go through several areas which will hopefully help you to understand um, how panels and panels everywhere slots together to create this uh, templating system. Once you get the hang of it, it's really quick and easy to use and you can make quite complex changes to websites very quickly. This is the, one of the reasons why I like it because it's very much a hands-on uh, drag and drop type of, type of interface. So I'm going to go through, I've been through the advantages of panels and panels everywhere. I'm going to have a closer look at how panels works, um, a closer look at what mini panels are and how they can, you can use them in your site. A uh, closer look at how you add CSS to each block of content on your, on your page. Um, a look at how Panels is used to template each page individually. And also we'll finish up by looking how this all fits together with Panels Everywhere and how, how you can use it to create your sites from Photoshop straight into, into Panels. So let's start off by having a look at Panels. Panels was the first of these two modules and the much larger of the two. It's created by Merlin of Chaos and now it has lots and lots of people helping to maintain and to improve it and to make it better. It's a very stable module, um, easy to use once you get the hang of it and uh, you can produce some really great results. So as mentioned before, Panels is used uh, mainly to theme the main part content of the site. So on this site that I'm showing you, this includes the picture, this includes the title, the text here, this picture and the sidebar. So let's log in and have a look at how exactly it does that. Now when I'm thinking about um, first creating a site, I'm thinking about how many different templates do I need and usually when I start off I just think I'll split the site into lots of different content types. It seems to be the easiest way for me to do it. I don't know if it's the correct way or um, if any, many other people do it this way, but for me um, it's this, the most straightforward way to do things. So I'm looking at this site. It's a tree surgery site for a business around where I live. Um, it's got an about us section, services section, what area they cover, testimonials, logs and mulch, links, uh, contact us and obviously the home page as well. So when I first looked at this page I thought I'm going to create a different template for each of these pages. So for example I click on about, I look at the home page I've got 
a quote box here, uh, tree care services menu here, and the main content of the page in the middle. If I click on the About Us, this changes slightly. It's now got an About Us menu here, which you can see on all of the About Us pages. So, how I've done that is I've gone like this. In the content types, I've created a new content type for each each page on the website. So we have a contact us content type which will sort of be the template holder you can imagine it as. Um, then we have home, about us, services etc etc. So when you install panels you install it in the same way you install any module. You copy it to your modules folder then you install it by going to sites, modules and installing it. Um, you'll then get an option here where, which says panels in the site building. If you click that you'll be taken to the panels dashboard and this is where you start from to create um, all, of your, all of your pages to do with panels. There are different ways to create pages in panels. Firstly you can create uh, standalone pages for example creating a panel page. This is just one page with a URL and you design it how you like and that's how it is. You could use these for landing pages, for home pages, etc. etc. I tend not to use those because I prefer the sort of templating idea, which is what I'll go on to in a minute. Uh, next in here you've got the mini panels. This is something I'll go through later on in the screencast. Mini panels are very useful for creating little blocks of content that you can dot around your site. For example, this header is a mini panel. Um, and it's placed there using the panels everywhere module which I'll go into later on. It's a two column mini panel. Uh, the first column has the logo in, the second second column has some contact details. So then the page wizards I never usually use. I usually go straight for this, managing pages. It has these five options here. The default site template, this is something that's used with panels everywhere. So we'll leave that till a bit later on, but for now, we'll concentrate on these four options here. Now, user profile template, this allows you to theme user pages. It overrides the existing page, and you can design it exactly how you like. Uh, the taxonomy term, term template pages, similarly, this does a similar thing for taxonomy terms. So you can design each term page to look uh, exactly as you like. This is a really, really useful feature for um, theming larger sites with big categories. Uh, the next we have the node template site, which is what I'm using 80% of the time when I'm using panels. And next we have the node add edit form. This is where you can format the node add edit form to look exactly how you like. This is very useful because you can specify for each content type a different template and so when somebody creates a blog, you, um, you could have um, links to recent blogs going down one side. You could have and um, label it blog ideas, or you could have a bit of text at the top giving um, tips on how to create good blog pages. Or maybe you have a content type like a photo. Um, when somebody creates a photo, you can um, give them tips on how to resize it. You can give them tips on how to. Um, upload the best quality images, all that sort of thing. So out of all of these, like I said before, the node template is the one that I'm using most. When you first go to this page, all of these are set to disabled, so you can click enable to set them as working. And then what, that ha what happens then is they will override your existing uh, site. So let's have a look. We can see on this page, this is the panels node template page. It's enabled so that it will override the design of existing pages. What you can do is because I've created a content type for each of these areas of the site, home, about us, services, etc. I've made a variant or a template for each part of that site. So for example, the first template I've created is for the home page open this in a new tab. We're talking about this piece of content here, the picture, the title, the text, the sidebar, down to here. We're not worrying about anything else for now. So the home page 
this page is a type that has the content type home page. So we open this up and we have a whole load of options here. Selection rules. The selection rules is important for this style of uh, templating that I do because we've added a node type, node being viewed as type home page. We've done that by clicking on this drop down, choosing node type, clicking add, and then choosing our home page. So, what this means is that every time this website sees a content type home page is being displayed, it will say, okay, let's theme it using this template. Let's theme it using the home page template and panels. Every time, for example, it sees an About Us page, if we look at selection rules, we have here no type, no being viewed is an About Us page. This means that every time the website sees an About Us page to be viewed, it uses this template. So by adding all of these, going down this side, all these different variants, these different templates, and setting their selection rules to the various different content types, I can have a different um, template for home page, about us page, services page, and for the most part the templates won't vary much, but for some things they'll vary a bit. For example, if we click on contact us, we can see it all looks much the same, it's got a similar sidebar, it's got a similar body and it's got the title here but it's also got this web form which is added in. Um, and when I'm, lo when I'm looking back into the site and editing things it's very quick to go ah, let's look in the node template, let's see the contact page, let's have a look at how all the contact pages are, uh, are templated of which is, there is only one at the moment and we can see uh, when we click on content we can see all of the content which is put onto that page. So for example, we saw the web form, and here it is, here's the web form. We saw the body text, we saw the title. This is the, the photo and the title. The photo and the title. We have the body text. Let's just go to contact us. So we have the photo, the title, the body text, the web form, and the sidebar. We look at the um, the templates, we have the photo, the title, the body text, the web form and the sidebar.